What does Jesus have to do with the church? Cornelius, welcome back. Today's topic is going to be the church. Okay. The church started after Jesus' resurrection, after pouring of the Holy Spirit. Why is the church special? Yeah, the first impression of the most people when they go to church is that this is special, especially boring. Um, it's very important for me to show the difference between a real church mm -hmm. and the experience of many. Because there is in fact a big, big difference. Mm -hmm. Because church for Jesus doesn't mean the building. Mm -hmm. It's not the organization, it's mm -hmm. not the tradition, the rit rituals, nothing like this. Mm -hmm. It's the life mm -hmm. which is important in the church. And when we talk about the life, Jesus has poured out, out his spirit and the church was born. Jesus is talking about his body. He is the head and every body of us is the part of his body. He's talking about life, which is helping each other, which is living together, which is doing the good and right. And uh, what is so special? The point is very easy. Every worldly community has something worldly mm -hmm. together. Uh, when we talk about sport, I can go into a stadium, ice hockey or football mm -hmm. or whatever, and I am there together with other fans. And this club is uniting us. Mm -hmm. We are shouting, we are happy, but after the game we are going home and I don't know what's the name of the others. Mm -hmm. It's only the sport which is uniting us. Or it can be a nation mm -hmm. which is uniting us, or a family, or a different type of clothes, mm -hmm. or a style of music, mm -hmm. or a motorbike. Mm -hmm. yeah? Uh, I, I drive a Harley-Davidson and I know it. There are especially Harley-Davidson meetings mm -hmm. and woe to you when you come with a Kawasaki or something like this. Yeah? <laughs> uh, totally crazy. Yeah? Uh -huh. uh, this is worldly. Mm -hmm. uh, there is something worldly which is holding us together. But what the church is, that's a wonder. Mm -hmm. Because there is nothing worldly which is bringing us together. Once a, a young woman came to me after a meeting and, and she said uh, to me, I'm not repented and I don't know what it means, but I know that your God is living. Mm -hmm. And I thought, hä? That's an interesting point. Yeah, and uh, I thought, explain, what do you mean? And she said, when I come to your church, I see young people, mm -hmm. old people, I see Germans, Russians, Chinese, I see bikers, hip hopper, mm -hmm. together. Poor, exactly. Mm -hmm. And she said, I cannot see what is uniting you. Mm -hmm. And that, what I cannot see, must be God. Mm -hmm. Gratulations. And that's exactly the point. That's Jesus the point. was praying. He said, Father, I pray that they are united, mm -hmm. that the world can realize that you have sent me. This is the essence of the church, of mission, this unity. Mm -hmm. And this is a total different life because in this quality, it doesn't matter which car you drive or which job you have, mm -hmm. which status you have. It's Jesus who gives us a value mm -hmm. and is uniting us. Mm -hmm. And this is a total new quality of life. That's mm -hmm. church mm -hmm. and nothing else. And when this unity is not there, this love to the next, this respect to the next, then you can forget it. You know, the very logical question that comes to my mind is why there are so many churches then? Exactly, because this is not there. <laughs> the problem is, and when you study history, it's the same again and again. In principle, it's like this. People really convert to Jesus. Mm -hmm. They live in harmony with God. They take their faith for serious in life, in what they do. 
but the next generation is growing up, mm -hmm. takes everything for granted, is not really interested, is only following the outward mm -hmm. life. Is going to church, but... And you, you see, that's the same what was happening in Scandinavia and in America mm -hmm. again and again. Mm -hmm. There were big revivals, but the next generation... Take Luther. He was a Protestant. Mm -hmm. He was protesting for the truth, mm -hmm. for the Bible, for the grace, for the faith. And the followers of Luther, yeah, what have they done? They, they have stopped mm -hmm. to protest. They only limited themselves on what Luther said. Mm -hmm. But they should, with the same spirit of Luther, read the Bible, find more truth, and live. Mm -hmm. But they said, no, no, only what Luther said, only what Luther said. And then it happens that other people say, yes, Luther was right, but there is more in the Bible. Also, the baptizing mm -hmm. or uh, the, the law, Sabbath, other things. And then they say, no, only what Luther said. So, so maybe let me ask you this. What is the real attitude of a Christian? That's a very interesting or important question because when you read the Bible, especially uh, what Paul says, then you see it's not that I belong to the right organization. Mm -hmm. To the church, let's say. For example, mm -hmm. No, it's really that I believe in Jesus Christ, that I have this personal relationship to God. Mm -hmm. And Paul explains it like this in, in Philippians chapter 3 from verse mm -hmm. 12. He says, I want more. Mm -hmm. Very easy. I want more because I know God has more for me. Mm -hmm. And there is more to understand. There's more to reach also in change, in holiness, but also in, in, in um, experience, in wisdom, how to serve God. You know, there is more, more. Mm -hmm. I need this attitude. Uh, more wisdom, how to serve the next. More love, how to solve the problems. God has always more. Mm -hmm. uh, and Paul describes it like this. He says, I'm not on a level. I must not live in illusions that I have it all but I want to have more. And um, when you have this attitude, God can give you more, he can show you more. But many people, they are only in uh, organization, follow mm. their tradition. They pray uh, the prayers and think on a film they have seen yesterday, you mm -hmm. know, it, it doesn't help. Jesus said already to the people in his time, you, you, you praise God with your mouth, but your heart is far away from him. So the real attitude of a Christian is not that he knows everything right, mm -hmm. but this postoy, this attitude that he wants more, to live in harmony with God, to do his will. Mm -hmm. Because such a person, can be leaded of God, God can use him, God can bless him to be a blessing for others. Here we are in life. What you are saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that it's not a building, but it's a life relationship with Jesus. You know, I have learned a very interesting thing, an example. When you have a foot, you need a, a shoe. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are different shoes for different activities. Mm -hmm. There are motorcycle shoes, <laughs> uh, soccer shoes, sandals for summer. <laughs> Important is the foot. Mm -hmm. And that the shoe fits to the situation. Mm -hmm. And it's the same with life and organization. Every life needs organization. Mm -hmm. When I have a job and I must stand up every day six o'clock to come to my work, mm -hmm. then it can become a tradition that mm -hmm. I stand up every day. So I organize my life. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Traditions are not bad in themselves. Mm -hmm. When traditions are helping me to live a good life, they are good and important. Mm -hmm. But when 
there is a change in life and I only keep the tradition, then the tradition becomes a border. It becomes a problem. Mm -hmm. And just think, your food is growing. Mm -hmm. You are a child, your f f food is growing, and you don't ch change the shoe. Mm -hmm. Then it will be very fit. painful. Oh yeah, they won't fit. And that's the problem in many churches. Life is going on. Mm -hmm. Things must be organized again mm -hmm. or in a different way. But no, we have the traditions, you mm -hmm. know? Then it becomes very painful. Mm -hmm. And at the end, you have maybe a big body, a big mm -hmm. church building, yeah. and no life in it. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. So don't take me wrong. I, I have nothing against church buildings. Mm -hmm. Traditions are important. But everything shall help that the spiritual life can grow. If it's not doing this, then it's a problem. We have a problem. Yeah. That was so inspirational. Thank you so much. And I look forward to see you next time. Yes, I do.